Hi, I'm Francesca D'Adamo and I'm a school teacher in Italy and a PhD student at University of Barcelona. Gameful English is the qualitative case study object of my doctoral research, which explores how playing vernacular video games may enhance ESL learning in an extramural educational context. To make this presentation easier to follow, you'll find different sections. Introduction, design framework, method, initial results and conclusions. Italians study English for at least 10 years, but language programs are not always effective, as they mainly focus on grammar skills as an end in themselves, giving little room to the speaking activities. Moreover, in Italy, students feel so much under pressure during oral and written tests that it is the predominant cause of anxiety and stress at school. How can teachers engage their students and make them feel comfortable and confident? Considering 3.7 million players aged 15 to 24 in Italy, using video games at school should not be seen as a stranger thing. Gameful English aims to give a contribution to the research by exploring practical solutions to make students closer to real L2 context to avoid the sense of frustration in communicative practices, improving speaking vocabulary and listening comprehension, diminishing anxiety during assessments. So what's Gameful English? It is playing the commercial video game Minecraft as the foundation of 10 lessons in a specific target class, using gamification elements in the assessment and the scaffolding design of the course, and it's an extracurricular, extramural online course based on game-enhanced and game-informed theories in a computer-assisted language learning perspective. The design for this project started with an initial session and ended with a follow-up session. Each session consisted of pre-play, during play and post-play phases. The tasks were different and involved mainly oral, written chats with English speaking players and YouTubers edited gameplay comprehension. Each task was aligned with literacy, language areas and assessment measures and displayed on a leaderboard. For three months, 27 public high school students, casual or pro gamers, aged 15 to 18, were involved in 10 weekly online meetings, one hour each in the afternoon. They were asked to play Minecraft multiplayer without any limitation of time or modality, at home, at their own pace, and to accomplish some tasks based on their gameplay. To favor triangulation, qualitative data were collected through anonymous end of the implementation survey, semi-structured interviews and focus groups. Data were processed with the Microsoft Excel program. Among 27 students, only eight students didn't pass the threshold. Initial results show that all the students agree people can learn English by playing video games because they are in English and you must learn to play if you want to improve your gameplay. They are also an easy and funny way to practice the language and they are motivational because of their nature. The students think they also enhance their listening, speaking and vocabulary by playing Minecraft thanks to some tasks which, in their opinion, helped and motivated them to speak and learn more. What motivated students to speak more English? The topic, the interaction with other players, the method and the level groups. Gamification aimed to reduce the effective filter in neural interactions and the common stress students have on being evaluated at school because marks are not intended as the average of single and spotted tests, but as the sum of different and several activities. So what did students think about using a leaderboard? The general feeling was positive. Half of the students appreciated competition, meaningful choices and clear goals. Others pointed out the subjective reaction towards a leaderboard and possible tension and extreme competition among students. Points instead of marks. Almost all the students agreed it was an understandable way to show progress and it was less stressful than marks at school because they got the feeling they could improve their scores at any time. Badges. A third of the students found badges powerful motivational rewards, something concrete to prove their abilities and a must have. None of them refer to badges with negative comments. This study aimed to be a practical application of gameful theories to a language program to enhance ESL skills. Many initial results show students were engaged during the activities, motivated by making meaningful choices, and could notice improvements in speaking, listening, and vocabulary. Gameful tasks and gamification allowed students to perceive evaluation as a part of a learning process more than a stressful learning performance. But because of the limitation of this study, much more must be done to understand how video games may impact everyday school classes and ESL acquisition. Researchers and teachers should not lose the chance to have an epic win. Thank you.